So you want to apply for a job at Walmart, but you don't know where to start. Well, first things first, grab a pen, grab a paper, and let's get this thing started. It's going to be like a note to Santa, but it's going to be even more crazy. Hey guys, I'm about this by Kaim Kaim. Today we're back once again taking a look at how to uh, use this dynamic sky um, add-on in Blender. This is a really cool add-on. Unfortunately, it's only for cycles, which is kind of whack not gonna lie but hopefully in the future they uh have an ability to transfer this over to ev as well because ev is my favorite thing to work in and it's just it's really really good so let's go ahead and get started the first thing we need to do is go up to edit preferences obviously and we're gonna go ahead and open up the um the add-ons section right here it should be up here in the interface first but we go down go down to add-ons and we're gonna search for sky as you can see um we have uh this dynamic sky right here which is gonna be off for you by default but make sure this is checked on you can open it up look at it read it, what's going on you know um, but you make sure that's uh, on and we can just close this out and exit uh, that preferences so if you if you go over to the right hand side it's a little arrow see a little arrow that pops up right there click that and you can see if we go down to the create tab um, there's a little dynamic sky uh, openable dialog here so open that up hit create and then as you can see, it says, please select the world name dynamic one from properties world, which what that means is go to the world tab here on the right hand side and then uh, go up here to this top and change this to dynamic one. Now, when we do that, you can see things will shift a little bit. Actually, it won't move at all. Um, but if we go to render viewport shading, that, there, there, you go. There, there we go. There it is right there. You see things will shift around a little bit. We have a new uh, a new interface here. But if we go to the render viewport shading, you can see that when we look at the sky, it is now a big old sky. We can turn our overlays off. Hit this little button right there. Get that out of the way so it's a little less distracting. You can see we have we now have a sky and it's and the, the cube is being lit like the sky would light the cube, which is really, really cool. We can add in Suzanne. Um, shift A. Search monkey. And you can see we just put Suzanne right there. And you can see we have nice, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous shadows, gorgeous natural lighting. Um, it looks absolutely amazing. So I just had to share this with you guys if you guys did not know about it already. Um, absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to add a uh, sub surf modifier to Suzanne just for a second. But you can see we have a lot of uh, options here. We can change the sky color. We can change it to like a red sky. Um, we can give it like a, a nice a nice green tint, you know. Um, but uh, but yeah, so it's it has a lot of a lot of potential for creating gorgeous, gorgeous uh, skies and natural outside lighting environments you can change the cloud opacity look at that just pull it down like that all the clouds are gone uh, you can change the cloud density as well so if you turn it all the way up you can see the clouds would be much more dense if we turn it down you can see they'll be much more soft there you go well actually probably the opposite way around there you go um, but you can see that looks uh, really good the way that it is there's less clouds if it's on one there's more clouds if it's on zero that's kind of backwards but hey listen it's all right um, we can change the uh, the value for here for soft hard, which is I'm gonna assume this is probably the um, the harshness of the sun itself, the the, the light that's coming down. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and change the sun. You can change the sun value, make it brighter or softer. Um, you can change the entire scene instead of just the sun. You can change the entire scene, make the scene brighter itself. That means the sky is gonna get brighter as well instead of just the sun. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so that is that you can change around the angle of the sun. So you can make the, uh, sun come from this way from, which is bottom, bottom, right, I guess so you can make it come from this way, which is, uh, there you go. So you can see it's, it's, it's looking really, really, really good, really natural, really cool. Change the horizon color as well. Nice blue color. But yeah, I will see you ladies and gentlemen in the next one. I just had to share this with you. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous add on. Unfortunately, like I said, it's only for cycles. So render engine, it's cycles. But that's okay. I know a lot of you guys still love cycles, still use cycles every single day, but hopefully they do transfer this into um, EV eventually, um, if not as soon as is possible. But I will see you guys in the next one. But until then, bye-bye.